All right, so now in some of the uh, future labs you're gonna do, you're gonna need to hold some test tubes. And these little tubes are included with your kit uh, in here. Please take note that some of the tubes that you get have something in them already. So like this tube here has a bunch of pH strips in it that you'll be using in experiment. One of these other tubes here have a bunch of sterile um, pieces of filter paper that you're gonna use for an enzyme experiment. So if you're gonna use them for something else, make sure you clear them out uh, and keep track of whatever was in them. Uh, so what you need to though make is a little test tube rack. Uh, so you're gonna have to have a way of holding all these test tubes and then pipetting liquids into them for the next thing, for the serial dilutions. Uh, and if you just kind of try to hold this up, they're just gonna you know, fall over. You can't just hold them around. In a laboratory, we would have a normal uh, test tube rack, but you're not gonna have that at home. So you need to make a test tube rack. What will you need? A piece of cardboard, you know, from any kind of box, a cereal box, an Amazon box, it doesn't matter. You'll need a piece of cardboard. The dimensions you're gonna see here, the ruler. Uh, this piece of cardboard I have is about, um, about nine inches or so long. It doesn't have to be any exact amount. It's just for spacing, so it could be a little bit longer. Uh, Cup probably couldn't be too much shorter. So I'd say you're gonna need at least a foot long piece uh, and then it's curved around. So what I'm doing here is this. I have my piece of cardboard and then folding it. And this is gonna be the base. All right, and then there's an upright section. What I wanna do next is fold it over again, but what, you don't wanna fold it you know, much too low or way too high. So how do you know where to fold it? Well, if this is your test tube, this is the size of your tube, you kinda of can see you want the fold to be somewhere kind of below that, right, so right about here. So that's kinda of where I want to do my second fold. And then I can eye it up and I'm gonna see there's a little bit extra sticking off here on my piece. Um, and I'm gonna cut that off just for two reasons. One is just to make it kind of neater and, and even, uh, and it just looks a little better. However, I'm also gonna be using these pieces, you're gonna see uh, in the structure. They're gonna help stabilize the overall rack. All right, so now I have this, but it's not, you know, it's not gonna stay in place. So what I'm gonna need to do is a couple things. Uh, I'm gonna need to kind of add some tape. I put actually a piece of tape, I'll show you how to do that on here. So you're just gonna need some scotch tape duct tape, packaging tape, it doesn't matter what kind of tape you have, uh, and I'm gonna stabilize the sides. But before I go ahead and do that, I'm gonna put holes in there. Be careful when you do this uh, with your scissors. Uh, the way I'm doing it is uh, kind of estimating about an inch from the edge. I'm just kind of taking the center, stabbing through here, twisting it with one point. Then I put the scissors together make the hole bigger, and then you can actually take your test tube and actually just shove it through there, twist it around, and then you're gonna have a nice nice round hole um, that's perfect for your test tubes. And it's gonna be just the exact size to hold them really well. And you're just gonna repeat this uh, six times. I'm not gonna do it perfectly on all these. Um, it's just to save time or I might speed up the video uh, right now so you can don't have to watch me do all of them. Once you have your holes, now I want to secure this. So I'm going to take a piece of tape. Put it here toward the front. I'm going to fold it so that it's 90 degree angles. Secure it like that. I'm going to repeat that on the other side. Now it's not gonna pop open again, but 
it is crushable. You see here, which isn't terrible, but, the, but you're gonna be shoving your test tubes in here and then you're gonna be crushing it. So well, what should we do? If I have a little bit of extra cardboard, just kind of measure the height roughly. And then go ahead and snip two pieces of cardboard that are at the height you want. And then just go to the interior here where this piece of tape is and just stick this in here as a little wedge. And then just use the tape to secure it. I'll do that on both sides. Bam. All right, and I've got a test tube rack now put my test tubes in and it's stable. I can put all this, and now you, when you do your next experiment and you do your pipetting, you'll have a test tube rack to do it and it won't be all over the place and you won't be spilling things. And you could probably, re, you're gonna reuse it for some of the other uh, experiments as well. So your next thing probably to do is this little project related to the lab, which is the creation of a test tube rack. Uh, and then you use that in the next experiment.